Hi guys, so I want to show us how to cut these um, flare shots. It's a very simple and easy tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is to fold your pattern paper into two like this. Like a triangle. You can actually fold this on your fabric too, okay? So this way, you'll be able to cut out the front piece. Once you do this, you're going to divide your waist circumference by 3. So if your waist circumference is 30, it means your, your 30 divided by 3 will give us 10. That will be the radius, okay? So I'm going to mark 10 inches from the top of the fold, okay? So um, this is a small scale demonstration. So that's why I'm not marking 10 in actual sense, but I'm just explaining to us, right? So you're going to just join all the points together like this. So this is going to be the waistline, right? If you're cutting directly on fabric, make sure you have enough space because you will still put a um, seam allowance, okay? Yeah. So now from the waistline, which is the arc there, you're going to measure the length of the short. So let's say the length of my short is 10. It's an example, please, in real sense. The length of your shirt should be somewhere probably 18 or 20. This is just a mini illustration. So you mark the length of your shirt round. You can see that. So I'm using 10 here. So by the time you mark it round, you should have um, a curved hemline, not straight. The hemline should be curved because um, it is circle. It has circle actually. Okay. So next thing, you're going to measure. Um, the crouch depth so your crouch depth is um your hip circumference divided by four okay so now if your hip is probably um 40 that means 40 divided by um four is 10 but you will not use your original crouch depth okay you're going to add like one or two inches so that when you wear the pant it will drop you know, it's not meant to be fitted, right? So, so let's say my hip is 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. Okay, so I just had like 1 or 2 inches, making 12. So from the top there, I'll measure 12 inches like this. You see that? Then I'll just do like a knot there. Then from here, I'm going to measure my front crouch extension. So front crouch extension is your hip circumference divided by um, 20. So if my hip is 40, so 40 divided by 20 will give me 2. So that's the front crouch extension. Okay, so I'll just mark it this way. And then next, I will use my curl driller to draw the curve of the pant. Yeah, so this is my curl driller here. I'll just draw my, my crouch. Okay, like this. Then I will draw the side um, the inseam like this also. So that's all. So basically you're going to be adding seam allowance to everything. This is the front here. Okay, you're going to be adding half seam allowance to the crouch area, the waistline, and the inseam. The side seam is going to be one inseam allowance. So you're going to cut out like this. Now, to cut the back, you're going to place the front on that pattern paper. Okay, and then uh, we're going to cut out the back. So I'll just trace out the front like this. So the difference between the back and the front is the crouch area. So I'll just extend here by 2 inches. Okay. I'll extend the front crouch extension by 2 inches. And then mark half inch at the hemline. And then link it together. So that's all for the back. Nothing serious because it's a flare pant. Okay. And then, yeah. I'll just trace out the, um, the outline of the front to cut out the back. So once I do this, I'm basically done with the pants. Now because it's a flare pant, you don't have to put that. You don't have to put that, you know, on the um, pants. And then, um, yeah, for the seam allowance, you can see that um, you're adding half in seam allowance. And 
that's all so thank you for watching this tutorial bye